Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla, I like to talk about books, so let's talk about some books. Sorry, I think the focus actually might be going in and out on this. I can't really tell if the focus is going in and out or if my eyesight is bad, so whether or not I'm in focus, we'll find out later, probably in a very frustrating manner. But today I wanna to talk about some of the books that I'm planning to read this December, and I'm kind of excited. I like to try and read books like that go along a little bit with the season that I'm in. I don't know, it's just a preference of mine. I'm not sure if everybody does this, but I feel like it kind of makes the experience better. For example, reading a Sherlock Holmes story curled up inside with a cup of tea on a really rainy day is like better than reading it outside in a field in the sunshine. So some of these are actually books like I've been wanting to read for a little while but I've just kind of thought oh that's probably a better read around the holidays so I'm just gonna kind of get into it with the first book because I'm actually currently reading this book you know what it's carrying over from November into December so it counts as a December to be read but that is the new David Sedaris book a carnival of snackery and I talked about this a little bit in my latest book haul but I was really excited to read it I got through made pretty quickly I think it only took me two days and then I immediately started reading this which is just definitely a more light-hearted kind of book easy to pick up easy to put down I will probably do a full review pretty soon so I won't talk about it too much but this is something I've been excited to read so I'm reading it this December because as as I said it's easy to pick up easy to put down a really good book to read if you've got a lot of other stuff to do and you just want to like pop in for a couple of pages at a time definitely a nice one for the holidays speaking of the holidays the next book that I plan to read in December is called deck the hounds and this is another Andy Carpenter mystery if you've seen before I've read a couple other Andy Carpenter mysteries on this channel I discovered these by David Rosenfeld last year postpartum last year after I had my baby I was having like a lot of weird sporadic downtime because I had a newborn baby and I <laughs> discovered these Andy Carpenter mysteries and they were really fun to read especially the times when I would be like up late with her she would fall back asleep in my arms or something and I wanted something to do and I discovered these and I ordered quite a few off of thrift books but I didn't get around to all of them because I just started reading other things and after the holidays passed last year I didn't really feel like reading a holiday themed book so it's kind of hitting all the marks I want it to hit. It's got a golden retriever, it's got a mystery, it's got some festive flair, uh, it's got a pun in the title. I just don't know what else I could possibly want. So I'll definitely be picking up Deck the Hounds. There are a couple more that I want to read as well, but I don't know if I'll get around to them. We'll see, but I'm really excited to read Deck the Hounds. The third book that I am going to be reading in December is called Christmas by the Book, and this I talked again a little bit about in my latest book haul, but it's kind of just like a corny little feel-good story, I think. I guess I don't know the ending, but it seems like kind of one of those little feel-good reads. There is this couple who has a bookstore in a small town and the bookstore is struggling and they I think it's around the holidays and they start like gifting people books I don't know I'm I'd imagine it has a lot to do with an adorable bookstore the joy of reading stuff like that but I just feel like it's a really festive read so that's why I want to read it this month I don't really want to wait and read this after Christmas so if for some reason I didn't get around to it this month I would probably just wait and read it next year but I think I'm gonna get around to it because it looks like a pretty quick read and I think it's probably a pretty easy read I could put this back in a couple nights with some hot chocolate by the tree I just want to sit curled up by my Christmas tree in my pajamas hot chocolate this book like Mwah. That's that's a perfect, perfect December night. Bonus points because there's this cute little dog on the cover. Can you tell the theme? I just want books with Christmas and dogs this month. That's what I want. The next book is actually something that I read every year. It's kind of a an annual, or would I say perennial? It's an annual favorite for me. I pick this up every holiday season. I talked about it a while ago when I talked about holiday books that I really like, I think. Oh my gosh. It has cookie dough on it from last Christmas. 
Can you see that? It has like cookie dough spilled on it from last Christmas. That's actually gross. There's like remnants of like cookie dough. So you can tell that I read this every holiday season. I don't necessarily read the entire collection, but it's really short. You can get through it in just a few hours, really. And I'm not a fast reader, but you can get through it pretty quickly. I almost always read the Santa Land Diaries, and we often read it out loud. This has been something I've been doing for like quite a few years now because it's just really, really funny, and it's fun to play popcorn and read it out loud, so that'll definitely be something that I'll pick up again. As I said, I don't necessarily read all the stories, but it's pretty short, so I think I will reread all of them this year. It's just a classic, a favorite. It's just right. It's just what you want. It's just the perfect blend of being festive and making fun of the festivities, and I just love that. Especially the Santa Land Diaries, just the commentary on the consumerism and the showiness of it all. It's just really, really funny. I love David Sedaris, so I pick this up at least a little bit every year. Gonna do the same again this year. The last book that I would like to read in December is Honoring Tom Crean, A Centenary Expedition with the Crean Family. So this book, I talked about a little bit in my book haul, but this book is about Tom Crean, and actually it's about the descendants of Tom Crean. Tom Crean was an Irish guy who was actually on the Shackleton Expedition, the Antarctic Expedition with Shackleton, and his family, they wrote this book where they went on the same journey that he went on. They went on the same expedition expedition he went on. I think it's his grandchildren. Um, I'm just kind of interested. I think it's a cool concept. I'm interested to read about it and I got this when I was in Ireland and I visited a brewery that is run by his granddaughter and his great-grandson I think. I might be wrong but look it up. Tom Crean Brewery. The food was really good. The people were really nice and they had cool books there so I picked this one up. Very excited to read it. As I said it feels like a winter read because it's about an Antarctic exploration. Expedition. Expl it's about an Antarctic expedition. So I think it's definitely something you want to read in the winter. Of course my to be read list is very long but these are just the ones that I want to get through in December. Hopefully if I've got the time like I said, travel, all that, but very excited. I'll talk a little bit more about some of the books I'm planning to read in January and in the new year because this is just the very tippy top of my to be read list. It goes down quite a bit further and includes the second Wheel of Time book, but again, I'll talk about that later. These are just the books I'm planning to read this December. Let me know down below what you are planning to read this month, what are you excited about reading this month, and thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.